Is it better to buy a more affordable guitar and upgrade it or to buy a more expensive guitar? Well, that's the topic we're gonna look at today when I upgrade the pickups on my Ibanez RG7321. What's up everybody, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Taylor and I do all sorts of guitar related stuff like this. <laughs> On my channel. If that's something you enjoy, make sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing while you're here. I've had this Ibanez RG7321 for well over a decade. And for those of you who are interested, this is one of the older made in Indonesia variants. And it's a guitar that I really enjoy playing. I really like how the neck feels. And even though the guitar is basswood or basswood or however you want to say it, it still has a really good balance and it feels nice when you're playing it. I've never come across any tuning stability issues with the guitar. And even though the guitar probably could use a better fret job on it than what came stock from Ibanez, I think it plays really nice. My main gripes with this guitar have always been the stock pickups seem to be pretty noisy compared to a lot of my other guitars. And the other thing is this bridge. It's really uncomfortable for me to play because a lot of the time I use my palm to palm mute down by the bridge. And if you look at the bridge closely, you can see those screws stick out quite a bit and it just kind of makes it a little bit uncomfortable to play when you're palm muting. Now I've been thinking about upgrading this guitar for a long time and it kind of got me thinking about something that gets asked pretty periodically. And that is, is it better to buy a budget guitar and upgrade it? Or is it better to buy a more expensive guitar with the features you may want. This is going to be part one of a two-part video. In part two, I will change out the bridge, mostly because I'm still just waiting for Hipshot to send me a new bridge. So what we're going to do in today's video is we're going to plug this in and demo it, and then I'm going to swap out these pickups for a set of Fishman Fluence Moderns, and then we'll shoot out both pickups in a mix. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to give you my honest opinion on whether or not you should buy a budget guitar and upgrade it, or, you know, if you should just save up and buy a more expensive guitar. But before we get started with any of that, if you like my videos and you want to help me keep making them, there's a support section below with all sorts of stuff like links to my merch, where you can get yourself one of these shirts to join the Chug Squad. Okay, with all of that out of the way, let's get this guy plugged in and demo. What's up, guys? I have my stock RG7321 plugged into my Axe FX. This is on my main patch, which is using a diesel VH4. Let's hear how it sounds. <laughs> Okay, so it doesn't sound bad, but I'm definitely noticing some things with the characteristic of the distortion and the way that I have this patch in particular set up. When I'm using this patch, I'm normally playing EMGs and the characteristic of the distortion with the EMGs is a lot tighter and smoother sounding than it is with this guitar. With this guitar, it sounds a little bit crunchy and a little bit loose. <laughs> So it's a little bit fuzzy sounding. The other thing that I'm noticing is I bet if I turn my noise gate off here, there's probably gonna be a lot of extra noise. Let's check that. So there's my noise gate bypassed. Let's turn the noise gate back on and I'll show you the difference in that roof. Okay. 
Okay, now we're gonna swap out the pickups for the Fisherman Fluence Moderns, and maybe I'll find a tip for my pickup selector while I'm at it. And we'll see what kind of impact that has, not only to the tone, but also to the noise level, because these pickups seem to be a little bit noisier than my EMGs, but I could be wrong on that. So let's do that, and then we'll shoot out both of them at the end of the video. Okay. All right, so it is Tuesday, late morning. I guess you'd say it's late morning. So it's Tuesday, late morning, and I am gonna take this guitar over to my buddy Shay and have him help me with the pickups because, uh, yeah, it looked a little intimidating. I don't really trust myself wiring this thing, so we're gonna take it over to him and see if he can help me out. All right, let's go do that. So I just got here and we're gonna go inside, see if we get this thing wired up. All right, so now that we have this guy all wired up, thanks to my buddy Shay from this Heavy Earth Pedals, formerly of TMD Pedals, we can listen to what this sounds like through that same diesel patch. So here we go. Okay, so the difference might sound very obvious to you, and it might sound subtle to others of you, but I can tell you just through playing from each that this is infinitely more inspiring to play than the stock pickups that were in it. For me, a big part of it is just the feeling of playing active pickups. There's just more compression. Um, it's easier to sustain notes, and it just feels a little bit more lively. And plus, they just look really cool. Now, the Fishman Fluence Moderns do have a ton of cool features with them, but I'm not really gonna go over the pickups in detail today. I will save that for its own video. And if that's something you're interested in, let me know in the comments below and let me know what you'd like to see in that video. Let's switch over to the neck pickup real quick and I'll show you a few different sounds with that.
And the last thing I wanted to see here is I just wanted to see how much noisier these were by comparison. So that's just the noise coming from my signal chain with no noise gates engaged. And here's with my volume up. You can tell the fish winds are quite a bit hotter because they're starting to feed back, but they have relatively low noise compared to the passive pickups. All right, so now that I played through both sets of pickups, let's shoot them out in a mix. Now in this mix, I had to play these riffs twice, once with the passive pickups that were in the guitar, and then once with the Fishman Fluence pickups. So there is gonna be some variation there, it can't really be helped, but we're gonna be running them through the same signal chains just to see how much of a difference they really make in your overall tone. All right, let's get over to the demo. Alright guys, considering this pickup swap was a $240 investment, do you think it's worth it? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. So in my opinion, when it comes to upgrading your guitar and whether or not you should purchase a cheaper guitar and upgrade it, or just purchase a more expensive guitar with the options you already want, it kind of depends. Here's the thing is the more specific options you are looking for in a guitar, the more it's going to narrow down your options when purchasing one. So for an example, if you're looking for a mahogany guitar with a reverse headstock and a Floyd Rose and EMGs with an ebony fretboard, you're going to be more limited than if you were just looking for standard options. That's probably not the best example in the world because I think those guitars are more common now, but you get the idea. So when I'm looking for a new guitar, the most important thing I look for is, is this gonna be something that I wanna play? And is it gonna be something that inspires me to make more riffs? Because at the end of the day, the playability of the guitar and whether or not you actually wanna play it are probably the most important factors in buying a new instrument. And then from there, I kind of look at the things that can be upgraded and the complexity of upgrading it. So for example, if I found a guitar that had everything I wanted on it, but it had a tunematic bridge instead of a Floyd Rose, I probably wouldn't buy it because I don't want to go through the hassle of routing out <gasps> the cavity and putting a Floyd Rose in. And obviously this is really subjective to you and how much effort you want to put into modifying your guitar. But for me, I think my ceiling is swapping out the pickups. Special thanks to all of my awesome patrons for helping me bring you videos just like this one. And if you're interested in joining my Patreon, there's a link for that in the description below. And as always, if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button, consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.